what's going on guys Andrew here back at you with another video and as I said uh, on my video on Saturday um, this is gonna be um, oh, uh, my update collection so I got all my things in um, actually you did yes two days ago but I, I you know have been have been busy to say the least um, as always I'm gonna do um, uh, non horrors first and then I'll get to my DVDs and my horrors and then uh, blu-rays so so uh, here we go. Um, I picked this one up at um, the Exchange, which is a uh, you know collection store here in Chicago. Um, I picked up the Blu-ray of Young Guns. Um, I don't remember if I showed this over the summer, but I picked this up on DVD. I decided to upgrade it. It was uh, four bucks, and um, I had like a you know a bunch of things, and I needed to spend a certain amount of money, so I just decided to pick this up. I love this movie. It's it's the only Western movie that I like. Um, they, actually, this and probably maybe Unforgiven. That's about it, to be honest. I, I don't really like Westerns, but that's a hilarious movie. Um, up next is this is one of the movies that um, that I picked up for the, that, the Target sale. Target had a buy two, get one for free deal. Um, and this is one of the movies. This is honestly one of a guilty many guilty pleasures for me. It's a comedy called 40 Days and 40 Nights. Now, actually, I'm filming this on, and we'll be uploading it on um, Ash Wednesday. And I watch this movie on every Ash Wednesday because this is, um, you know, the start of this movie kind of, you know, the, he, he basically it's a story of like he does this, um, the, does this for 40 days and 40 nights. So during Lent, um, he makes this deal where he will have no sex at all, no masturbation, no nothing um, for 40 days. And, um, so it's, you know, it's a comedy, it's a romance film kind of, so it, it's super fun. I'll be watching it tonight. I love this film. It's super, super enjoyable. Um, yeah, I upgraded it to Blu-ray. All right. So that's my non horrors just only two for this month. Um, I did have, I did buy only about one DVD this month. Um, and this is actually going to be the movie that I'll be reviewing on spoiler alert on body bags this Saturday. And that is Exists. This is a uh, found footage film that's actually a Sasquatch film, um, or Yeti, whatever you want to call them. Um, <clears throat> and it's directed by the same guy, Eduardo Sanchez, I think it is. Yeah, he directed uh, The Blair Witch Project, which he did a phenomenal job with that. Um, and I I'm kind of really curious to see how this one is. Um, I know it's gotten, gotten mixed reactions. Um, but I've heard good things from Moods. I've heard good things from other people. So I'm kind of curious to watch this one. So I'll be watching this one this Friday. So I'm, I'm really excited for that. All right. So on to my, um, my uh, Blu-rays here. All right. So um, next, what, five movies I picked up on the um, – on that uh, – this is another one that I picked up on the um, uh, Target deal, and this is another one that I – did I pick this up on the Target deal? I think I did. Yeah, I did pick this up on it, um, and that is with The Breed. Um, yeah, so this one here, I – yeah, I did pick this. Um, I, it's just you know basic Blu-ray. The reason why I picked this one up is because it's a Wes Craven film. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a directed film, obviously. It's a, um, it's a produced film. The executive produced this one, so he didn't really have much in the filmmaking aspect of it in general, but to be honest, I'm starting to co uh, collect movies that he also produced. Um, you know, it's about that time. Um, but, um, for me, this movie takes place on an island during spring break. I'm going to be watching this during spring break, but honestly, movies set on an island, automatic Automatic five points for me. Auto automatic. It can't get any lower than that. Um, it just super love that location. Uh, yeah. Up next, another one I picked up for that one. Um, that is Dead Silence. This is another. This is an upgrade. Um, yeah. This is basically. Um, this is the unrated one. The Blu-ray transfer looks pretty good. I've watched it. Um, I, I liked it. The only thing that I I, I can't can complain about. None of James Wan's films does he ever do a commentary for. It's super annoying. I really wish he would do commentaries because I really would love to hear, you know, what his mind is for certain films of like why why did he direct certain scenes this way? You know, it's kind of frustrating. But I really like this film. It's super scary. It's a you know great doll film. 
All right, up next is uh, another upgrade, and that would be for Killer Workout. Now, uh, for me, I picked up the DVD, as you guys know. I actually recently sold it to somebody else, um, which I'm, I'm hoping that um, Roy really is enjoy enjoying that. He did say that he liked it. Um, for me, I love this film. Um, this is my this is my favorite guilty pleasure film. It is such a, a bad film, but it's so funny at the same time. Love this film. Um, great slasher. It's from 1987. Um, yeah, I haven't seen any of the other directors, the, the director's other works, but I think that, um, but I think that I definitely will be checking those out. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, artwork got messed up, so I was annoyingly trying to you know, fix that. Up next. <clears throat> is a movie that I did or just did a review on, so that would be uh, Exorcist 3. It comes with the slipcover. Um, yeah, it has uh, one disc, is the uh, the regular cut. This is the director's cut. Um, if I'm watching it by myself, I'll only ever watch the director's cut anymore. Um, it does have an interview with William Peter Blatty, which, you know, retrospectively looking back on it, is actually really important and really dear to me now. Um, he does an interview about the film, or actually about how he got into the film business in general. So it's a really good one just to, to look out for. Definitely recommend picking up this Screen Factory. It's, it's, uh, it's an important one to have now. Um, and last but not least, this is kind of a random one, but as you guys know, I've been picking up this series if you've been following my upgrades. Uh, Final Destination. I picked up um, uh, Final Destination 2 a couple months ago. And, um, actually I picked up The Final Destination on 3D Blu-ray, um, just because, like, honestly, the, the, th not watching it in 3D, it just looks so shitty, and, like, the effects look so, eh, and I just decided, well, nah, it's time to upgrade all of them then, I guess, and so I'm upgrading them individually, which I r rarely do, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, um, I really enjoy this movie. The whole franchise, all of them, um, I enjoy. I watch regularly. I watch them every single summer. Um, you know, this is probably my second or third favorite in the series. I don't know. I'd really have to rewatch them and do a ranking of that, those films. Those are hard ones to, you know, watch, hard ones to come by. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't... I don't remember. This does have filmmakers commentary, so yeah, that would be a good one to check out. Um, up next is super super cool. I I, um, I uh, recently, you know, over this this is another one where um, yeah, this is again like I just said, I've been upgrading the Final Destination series, and so um, I have the fourth one, the second one, the first one, and now I have. Final Destination 5. Now, the reason I upgraded this, this is the Blu-ray 3D. So, this is in 3D. Um, it has three discs. It has the Blu-ray 3D, the regular Blu-ray, and the DVD. Um, I love this. Like, the sets like this are just incredible. I love the fact that these come with that. Um, so yeah, um, this is a complete package of, to have of the fifth one. I would never have another edition other than this one. Um, the super coolest thing is it comes with the lenticular cover. I bought this used, and rarely does it ever come with a slip cover. Oh, man, I, I was, you know, I didn't even ask if it came with a slip cover. I just, you know, was, you know, just hoping and praying, fingers crossed. And yeah, it came with it. It was about twenty bucks. The thing is, is that they, they used to be about fifteen dollars. Um, they've been going up in price, so I just figured I'd get it before. Um, you know, I didn't really want to upgrade this till the summer, but I figured I'd get it before. Um, you know, it went up too much. Um, so now all I have is my favorite in the series to get, which is the third one. Up next, the next three here are going to be um, now uh, a couple. Last week, um, last week. Um, not Amazon had a, a flash sale where it had like eight dollars off if you spent fifty dollars. So I was like, ah, eh, you know, I've been meaning to get some some other titles, so why not? Let's get this. Um, so I ended up upgrading um, Slumber Party Massacre. Um, this is one of my favorite um, '80s slashers. It is. Oh my God, is it fun? It is a quintessential '80s slasher. 
Um, this has audio commentary with the director, and I believe it's the actor. There's yeah, there's a couple of act- actresses in it. Um, you know, what's funny about the, these movies is they were made with women by women, and and, and they're really enjoyable. I mean, super fun. Um, you know, it just comes with the um, with this, and it doesn't have reversible cover, but it does have some really cool images. Um, I I could not recommend this enough. This is a Screen Factory release. And um, the transfer looks incredible, even better, way better, a good bit better than the uh, the DVD does of it. Um, yeah, and then uh, I upgraded the second and third one, which I was glad to see they have on separate discs. Um, yeah, um, the second and third ones are just, they are, like, this is actually a respectable slasher movie. The second and third one are bad films. They are just, they are badly acted, badly directed. Um, but the, the second one especially is just so damn fun. Um, the killer kills people with this guitar that has the drill on it. Oh my god, it is hilarious. Um, and the cool thing about this is that it has the regular edition in HD. And, um... It has the um, it has a um, the director's cut of the uh, both of them the second and the third one but they're only in et, um, standard definition I don't understand why they couldn't just you know bring it up to HD but it's whatever um, yeah um, yeah so that's it also this one I guarantee you my brother's gonna be excited about this one and prob and I'm bringing it back with us so. You, I'm assuming we'll probably watch it. Another one, Screen Factory just released. Um, I believe it was in uh, November, um, and that is Psycho for the Beginning. Um, p- picked this up too. Um, was rewatching it a little bit again. This is uh, one of Anthony Perkins' last roles before he sadly passed away. Um, it also has Olivia Hussey in it from uh, Black Christmas, the main character. She plays Norma Bates in this movie, so. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is a uh, this is a TV movie, and the transfer honestly looks pretty good, especially for a TV movie. I really um, like the this uh, this does have audio commentary on it too, so I um, definitely recommend picking this up if you haven't. It's it's a great great um, uh, sequel in the series. Uh, these last two, um, last but not least, certainly um, these are two fr- again from um, what is it from. Uh, the, what I said earlier, the exchange. Um, I picked up Zombieland. Again, it was five bucks. I was like, "Yeah, why not?" It was an upgrade, and I didn't know this, but it has the Blu-ray and DVD in it, so it is a combo pack. It's really surprising. Um, but yeah, this is um, as far as comedy horror movies go. This is num- probably number two or number one. I'd have to say it might be number one, but I don't know between this and Tremors. I don't know which one would be for me. Um, I don't know. Emma Stone is just incredible in this movie, and Woody Harrelson and Jesse Eisenberg, they're just so hilarious. I don't know. Um, and then after that, um, yeah, I have uh, Children of the Corn Genesis. I picked this up for $3. Again, remember last year, if you remember last month, I picked up the other ones. I picked up like uh, the original, the remake, 3 through 6. And uh, this is Genesis, which is the eighth film in the franchise, or ninth, I can't remember. I think this is the ninth, because the, the remake is the eighth. Um, so now all I have to do is pick up Revelation and the second one, which the second one is out of print, and the third uh, Revelation is, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to be upgrading, I'm not going to be buying the DVDs of either of them, because I'm not going to have... Seven of the nine and in Blu-ray and then not have the rest of them, but I don't know. This is going to be an interesting watch. Um, fun fact, I have a, um, me and my brother have a, um, uh, we have a podcast that we just started. Um, we will be doing that, Austin. We will be doing uh, the Children of the Corn franchise. We're going to put ourselves through that. We're going to do it. I, I have faith that we'll get through it, though. Um, yeah, so that's going to be all for today, guys. Um, pretty, pretty mild, mild. This is a normal month. This will be a normal month, hopefully. A lot of, uh, upgrades, but a lot of movies that I've been meaning to pick up for a while or something like that. Um, 
Yeah, so next month should be a uh, pretty big month because uh, the March, I have quite a few movies that are waiting back home for me, and then also I'm going to a convention with my brother um, in Pittsburgh, and then I'm also going to go to, um, then I'm also going to be, you know, back there, so I'll be going to FYE and everything like that, and then, you know, so... Should be a pretty big month. So, anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. And um, as always, feel free to like and comment down below and uh, subscribe. Let me know what you think about these. So, have a great week, guys. Um, I don't know when I'll be posting next, but be looking out for it. So, peace, guys.